All right, everyone, welcome to NBA 2K24. Now, the first video you're probably seeing in 2K24, or it might be this one, I don't know. Um, I did a rebuild of the Miami Heat because the servers were offline as every 2K is off the start. But now we're back. Servers are online. It is an hour and a half after release, and now the servers are online. We're going to head to my career. As you can see, my Miami Heat file. Head to my career, create a new build, and we are going to create Gerald Johnson. Create your own. Start with a molded build. Start with the build. That's wait, hold on. So if I select one of these, can I go back? Um, no, I don't. I'm gonna create my own. But you can start with the build molded from an NBA star. That's cool. That is an addition that is actually smart from 2K. I am gonna build my own guy. Uh, I'm not gonna have even though well, Gerald Johnson kind of isn't built around anyone like my other players are. Shades of Kenny Smith, Darren Fox, and Spencer Dinwiddie. I don't know how I feel about that. But choose team. I didn't know we get to choose our team this season. As you know, we always end up on the Heat. I will not lie. Um, and they do need a point guard. They only have a 76 overall. So I think Gerald Johnson will be starting his career in Miami. Okay, here we are. Where do you want to start? Obviously, I'm starting my NBA career. You So there's literally no buildup, nothing. Oh my God, we still got these quests. So there's no build up, nothing. They just throw you straight into the league. Enter goat tier. Goat moments. What the hell is goat tier? Wade. Wade. Wade into the greatest of all time discourse via Logan Bradley's tier list. Um, See where you stack up against the goats that came before you. As well as the legends in the making. As legend in the making. Um, What is this? Seek inspiration from those ranked above as you build your case on the hardwood and you'll be updated on your progress through logan's podcast where he'll detail exactly where you fit in the what the hell first of all why is when banyama here for the love of christ 2k really the the Wemby hype is ridiculous in my opinion zion's even here like you're putting when banyama on the same tier as an mvp a future mvp a future mvp like oh my god not bad, but other than that, why is that my photo? God, that looks awful. Why am I so skinny? I might have to make a new build. Alrighty, I made a new build. I went with a Kyrie Irving style build and customized it myself. I am at 85 overall. These are my current stats. Um, I got my jump shots. I wish I knew before I upgraded him that I needed an 81 three-pointer to get the uh, Trey Burke jump shot. But I didn't, so I'm stuck with Anthony Edwards jump shot that I literally don't know anything about. So this should be a first... A uh, very interesting first game here. Um, I don't know how this works with the the key games and all that because I wasn't paying attention. But um, I guess we'll play. I know I, I'm. I watched the video and it said that it simulates all the non-key games, which I don't like because I usually pick the teams I want to play. I don't want just to play the only team um, key games. But we'll figure that out later. Um, the game goal is. Your first NBA game, do your best love to the hype by beating the stat goals from MJ and LeBron's first games while taking the W. So let's hop into this game. Day you see his son playing his first NBA game. I know I shouldn't be focused on this, but I still can't believe that Grandpa's not here right now. It just doesn't feel right. It's okay to feel that way. I miss him too, but you know, Grandpa would kick you behind if he knew you let him distract you like that. <laughs> you gotta put that on the back burner, huh? Yeah, you're right. Now listen, there are gonna be a lot of people in here tonight. But you and I both know what you've been working towards all these years. Greatness. I don't care about the hype. Most of the people talking, they don't even believe what they say half the time. But me and you believe. Yeah, what do we believe? That I could be one of the best players to ever play this game. Yes, sir. That starts tonight. History in the making. Make your NBA debut as the most highly touted prospect since LeBron James. These are optional. MJ had 16, 6, 7, 2, and 4. 
in his debut. Earned 36 plus points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks combined to beat his total. And LeBron had 25, 6, 9, and 4 in his debut. All right. So, okay. That makes sense. Those are optional. But we need to grab the W. This is a new locker room. This actually looks very, very clean. Um, what's up, Shoe Rep? Hey, MP. What's, hey, up? what's up? Check out these free kicks that we're hooking you up with. And you actually get to select a shoe. I like how they sped all this up. Like, you don't have to have all the build-up to getting to the league, and then once you're in the league, all right, the story ends. They just start you right into the league, and that's where the story, and you get a shoe deal right off the, the rip. So, I'm already rocking Jordans, so I think I'm going to go with Jordan. On behalf of Jordan, I'd like to wish you good luck in your first NBA game. Not Thanks. that you need it or anything. <laughs> We're all real excited to see what you do out there. Me ready for this since I was six years old, so I'm ready. Hey, okay, so that's why they say what they say about you, huh? Can't miss a legend at 19, the next goat. <laughs> yep, keep going. <laughs> Look, just don't try to prove it all at once, right? Look, you got the all NBA upside clearly, so you only need to show flashes right now. Coach, I'm trying to show my full potential. That's the competitor's mentality, and I get that. But just remember that it's a long process, MP. As long as you tap into what makes you great, we're all good. No one is expecting a fully formed MVP on day one. Loud and clear, coach. Great. So go out there and have a little fun. Hey, you know I will. Put your generational talent on full display by shifting into GOAT mode. Achieve in-game goals to temporarily activate significant attribute boosts. Boost. Um, these boosts allow you to show flashes of your true potential. The more you activate GOAT mode, the more powerful skills you unlock. New bonuses become available with each tier you advance. Blow past your attribute and physical limits at the highest tiers to leave a lasting mark on the NBA and its record book. Okay, interesting. So this is kind of like the... Um, I forget what it was called, but you had skill points. Basically skills like this and... 2k23 so that's basically what this is um but i will do i don't know how often i'm gonna get wide open shots so i'm gonna go with the attempt um the three point shots and then for the second one i'll most likely do playmaking get a total of three shots made and assists from pick and rolls that's very possible because that's all i do get god good ball moving set for good screens we'll, we'll definitely do this one it all righty here we go first ever nba game for Gerald Johnson here in the Kaseya Center in Miami going up against the Detroit Pistons. Premier week here, tip off of the NBA season for the Pistons and Miami Heat. Gerald Johnson making his debut here. The Miami Heat came up short in the NBA Finals. Biggest position of need was point guard and they're getting it right now with Gerald Johnson. I like the new um, little scoreboard up there. That's pretty sick. But here we go. This team is built for a championship. I The scoreboard's pretty decent. Um, I don't know how much I like having... Also, I just noticed I am not playing on this camera. All right, there we go. We're back to the normal 2K camera. Yeah, I don't like how they have like the other game stats there. I don't know how I feel about that, but I mean, it is what it is. As Jimmy Butler blocks that one. And I'm going to go... Oh my god, that is not the move I wanted. <laughs> what was that step back? That was okay. Not what I really wanted to do there. I kind of just wanted to pull up um, mid-range, but that's not what we got. Um, the game feels slightly different, but not too different here. Um, the movement definitely is different as Kate Cunningham knocks that one down. The one thing about the scoreboard is where I have my mic, I kind of can't see um, the score. We're going to, Bam out of battle, going to set this screen. Bam out of battle, cut to the basket. My first ever pass and assist is a lob to Bam out of bio. Oh my God, Kate Cunningham drills that. I was there too, and he still drills it. I am playing on superstar difficulty for this first game. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, we're not going to go Hall of Fame just right out the gate. I'm not going to shoot that. Bam out of bio in the paint again. He misses, but it's a foul. I finally got my first bucket to go with the layup, but it has not been a good start so far for Gerald Johnson. It has been a slump. Cade Cunningham getting multiple screens. Kevin Love with fantastic defense, but they get the rebound. Marvin Bagley on the perimeter. Kevin Love, you got to get that rebound. You can't let Cade Cunningham grab that rebound. He is cooking. 
Oh, I'm in the paint. Please, Tyler. I get him on the pump fake, and I... Man, I gotta turn the layup meter off. I It's so quick. I'm so used to just not having it out. Can I turn it off in the settings? Oh, no, you can't shut it off here. Okay, good. Uh, shots only. We we do not want it for layups because, God, it is way too fast. And Bojan knocks that down. They are not missing. What the hell? Oh, I got my goat thing activated. That that Why is the screen shaking? All right, so now I got, I guess, upgrades to my stats for four minutes. That way it says, yes, pass accuracy, speed with ball, all that upgrade as I'm not paying attention. All right, I'm going to sub that for the first time. Down by four. Uh, not the greatest uh, start to my NBA career. We're down by six now. That doesn't help. Caleb Martin's got five points off the bench. But yeah, not not a great start, especially shooting wise. I mean, I don't. I'm not gonna get upset because I don't have my jump shot. Like I wish I knew that before I spent way too much money. Ooh, right by Monte, and of course I get no foul. I cooked him on that play, but meant nothing. And Jalen Duran, I I can't bait him into a pump fake. Can't bait him. Tyler Hero baits Cade Cunningham into a pump fake. Gets the midi, and it's off. Oh, I went right by Monte, but they saw it coming. And Duncan Robinson didn't shoot when I told him to shoot. Went right by Monte. I'm going into the paint, and I dunk it. Okay, interesting. Did not expect to dunk. Hit the timeout celebration. I've got seven points, all right. Um, um, solid, solid. Still shooting abysmal, but... I mean, I'm starting to get a rhythm. Jump shots are not the is not going to be the thing until I can get the jump shot I want, which is Trey Burks. So um, that's just not going to happen. I got a rebound. My rebound stats are abysmal. I got right by Monte Morris. Well, right back at the paint, and it's good. Gerald Johnson makes back-to-back -back buckets. He's got nine. Possible double-double in my NBA debut. I mean, it's a possibility. Bam out of bio to the paint. Bam out of bile, throws it down. I've got nine points and six assists so far in this game. Oh, Jimmy Butler gets the steal. Jimmy Butler kicks it up to Gerald Johnson. Throws it down. And he calls a timeout for the Pistons as the Heat take the lead. 15.7 assists so far for Johnson. He is fighting himself here in this second quarter. Yeah, Kate Cunningham, he blows right by me. He misses the shot, though. That's just going to happen in a lot of games where, I mean, my defensive stats are so bad that they're just going to blow right by me most of the time. But I am one assist away from a double-double in the first half. Can I do it? Jimmy Butler, mid-range shot. He misses. I still have a chance, though, to get this double-double. Bam out of bio, messes up the pass. But I do want you to come set the screen because you have been the easiest player to get passes to. Bam out of bio in the paint. Pull up, and that's a first. Half double double for the rookie Gerald Johnson, 16 and 10, with 25 seconds left to go in this first half. The Heat have a three point lead. Cade Cunningham gets the screen from James Wiseman, gets right by Bam, and throw it, lays it up. We got 15 seconds though. 10 seconds left in this first half. Jimmy Butler comes at the screen. Jimmy Butler, easy dunk path to the bucket. Four seconds left. Uh, they're not really running with much of a hurry, and Cade Cunningham's going to just launch one. And the Heat are up 54-51 to 51 at halftime. Kevin Love, another three-pointer. This brother is 0 for 5 from 3, I'm pretty sure. He has been wide open, and he just can't hit him. He just cannot hit him. Cade Cunningham has been cooking me, but he's not shooting a high percentage. Jaden Ivey with the ball. So, I mean, yeah, that's the only positive, but yeah, I can't, my defensive stats are so low that I can't stay in front of them as we lose the lead. And I'm getting subbed out as I goddamn should. Um, Butler's only got eight, bro. Bam's got 20. Um, Hero's got 11. We're up by two, though, nearing the end of the third quarter. Nine seconds remaining here in this third quarter. I'd like to score again. There we go. 18 points for Gerald Johnson. I am 7 of 18 from the field. Not good. But we're going to have a lead going into the fourth quarter, and I have 18 points at 13 assists in my NBA debut. I just grabbed my fourth rebound of the game, which is way more than I expected to have. I have Jalen Duran on me now, so you know what that means. There's a mismatch somewhere, and that somewhere is Bam Adebayo. Let's see if they fix the post-up AI. They're going to double, but uh, we somehow get no one wide open. Give it back to Bam. And I turn. That's my first turnover of the game. That's tragic. 
I nearly had the perfect game assist wise. So, I, what was that? And that's another turnover on me. Oh, 2K, brother. How do you not fix that? You know how I don't think I've ever seen that in my eight years of watching basketball. Someone passed the ball and it bounced off their hands like that. I've seen players throw the ball in the wrong direction, uh, but it never just bounces off their hands like that. One of the positives is this Bam Johnson connection is just beautiful. Goddamn gorgeous, dude. I'm meeting him on every lob so far, every pick and roll. It's just working. And speaking of that, Bam gets the steal. Duncan, I'm going to throw it up to add up. Wow. As I say that, as I say that, we fail on a highlight play, and I have three turnovers in a row. There is no way that goes in. And I pick up my fifth rebound. I can't believe I have five rebounds right now with my rebound rating. Everyone tracks in. The second I went into the paint, Joe Harris and Wiseman said, all right, we're going to leave our guys directly wide open. Joe Harris is guarding Duncan Robinson, by the way. We're just going to leave them wide open. The dude who's shooting six for like 27 is the bigger threat. Are you serious, 2K? If I make this free throw here, it'll be 20 points, and I miss it, of course. Brother, I forgot what my... I don't think my free throw... I think it's a 75. It is... Does not feel like it's a 75. Because that green bar is so tiny. Like, I... Yeah, but, but, but I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. It does not feel like it's a 75. It feels like it's a 65. So I think I beat MJ's um, 36 plus... I don't think I beat Jordan's. I mean, a LeBron's, which was 45 plus, if I'm not mistaken. I think I'm close. I can't do math right, so uh, we'll we'll find out eventually. That was a terrible pass. We'll find out eventually, but I do want to beat that. And um, I think a 2020 game will guarantee it. Bam out of bio. That's a mismatch. He still misses. Oh, there's no one in the paint, please. And he dunks it. Johnson with the dunk. 21 points. For Gerald Johnson, 21, 17, and 5. Quick match will show you that is what? 43. They need a timeout. 95 to 90. I have 43 out of the 45 needed to compete. Complete. Complete the LeBron goal. Bam out of bio. Assist number 18. And it is assist number 18 for Gerald Johnson. I'm looking for that 2020 game. I don't have much time to get it. So I am going to need my teammates to hit their shots. I do have a takeover. I have to select it. I don't know what any of these are. Um, I guess I'll select the sharpshooting one because I don't know which one is playmaking. We have a fast break here. We're going to give it right back to Bam. He's been the man of the hour. But Jimmy Butler ruined that whole possession by... What What are we doing? Oh, boy. Jimmy Butler? Why is no one able to get by anyone? Like, does no one know how to run plays here? Does no one know how to run plays? Bam, at this point, just throw it up. Uh, no one knows. I'm called for an isolation and pick and roll, and everyone forgot where to go. Bam, let's try this again and hope that no one bothers me. Bam out of bio. That should be an easy bucket, and it is. Bam out of bio. And that is what? I don't know how to do the math. Uh, I, well, I know how, but I'm not going to. I might be at four. Cade Cunningham, another step back jumper, and it's off again. Cade Cunningham struggling in this game. Jimmy Butler, you had an open mid, and you turned it over. Cade Cunningham from three. It's off. Out of bio with the rebound. I want this 2020 game. I want this 2020 game. Bam. You've been my number one. Bam out of bio. Can he add to his stat line? Bam out of bio completes the 2020 game. He has 32. Gerald Johnson in his first ever career game. 21 points, 20 assists, and five rebounds. I definitely passed the LeBron goal. And let's just add another rebound to the list. Gerald Johnson, what an NBA debut. Did not shoot good at all from the um, field, but had a fantastic debut. Caleb Martin wide open in the corner, and he knocks it down. 21 points, 21 assists for Johnson. Oh, and I had a steal to it. Why not, Gerald Johnson? Why not? Call the timeout for him. What a second half. For Johnson and the Heat are going to start the season off 1-0. This was a close game throughout. And the Heat just blew him out in the second half. Cade Cunningham takes a shot there. It doesn't matter though. The Miami Heat are going to be victorious in game number one of the season. 
Final box score, Bam out of bio. 32 points and 18 rebounds in this game. Gerald Johnson, 23 points, 6 rebounds, 21 assists, 9 of 21 shooting. I was a lot better in that second half. I was 3 of 6 shooting in that second half compared to my 6 of 15. Jimmy had 14, Hero had 11, and Caleb Martin had 10 off the bench. And for the Pistons, Cade Cunningham had 31 points, but he shot 38 times. He was 14 of 38, 3 of 14 from the field. And got no help from anyone else. I believe there's a cutscene after this game. So uh, I'll send you guys to that. Anyways, that's going to be for me. GG. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Uh, wow. Uh, listen. Uh, uh, I do my best to get to everybody. But we're going to try to do this in an orderly fashion. All right? Uh, why don't we start uh, right over here? Gary Carson, local news. MP. This was the most anticipated rookie debut since LeBron James. And even with all that hype, you blew away expectations. Your box score numbers jump off the page. You outperformed guys like Michael Jordan and LeBron James in their first games. Is it fair to say that you're on your way to becoming one of the next all-time greats? Uh, most guys in the league think They've got that kind of ceiling. I mean, why else would you work this hard? But Michael Jordan isn't Michael Jordan because he had a good first game. He's MJ because he won six chips, five MPPs, nine all defense. My ceiling's sky high, bro. I mean, but of course, I want legendary status, and I won't have it until I start winning chips. It's that simple. Uh, next question. Thank you. Uh, right over here. Wiener Becker, Sport wird monatlich. Wie fühlt es sich an, dein allererstes NBA-Spiel zu gewinnen mit Fans, die auf der ganzen Welt zuschauen? Lena Becker, Sport Monthly. How does it feel to get your first win in an NBA game with fans watching all around the world? Wow. It's great that the NBA is such a global game that we've got reporters here from. It's, it's Germany, right? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. It's a sign that the game continues to grow and find fans around the world. Uh, that means there's a deeper talent pool, more exposure. It's exciting if you love the game. Uh, awesome. How do you say how do you say thank you in German? Dankeschön. 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 <laughs> that's awesome. All right, we got time for one more. Uh, right in the back, right in the back. Damian Patterson, City Free Press. What does it mean to you to be a third generation NBA player, following in the footsteps of your father Prince and grandfather Chuck? Um, it means a lot. Yeah. I mean, you gotta respect where you come from, and I come from a line of guys who got basketball in their blood. <laughs> but the most important thing to me right now is representing these fans and uh, the city and bringing them the championship they deserve. As much as I love my dad and miss my grandpa, I play for the name on the front of the jersey, not on the back. Thank you. Next question. Uh, right up front. Parfait, merci. Beatrice Corbet, la compétition. Votre maillot est le maillot le plus vendu en France en ce moment. Avez-vous un message pour vos fans français? Beatrice Corbet, the competition. Your jersey is the number one selling jersey in France at the moment. Do you have any message for your French fans? Uh, oui, oui, actually. J'aime la France. Oh, très bien, vous parlez français. <laughs> what did she say? And she asked if you speak French. Oh, <laughs> well, there's your answer. Listen, they told me a few days ago who'd be here, so I practiced some stuff in different languages, but unfortunately, no, I don't speak French, as you guessed it. But maybe one day, though, it's a beautiful country, beautiful people, beautiful language, and, uh, hey, merci. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Proud of you, MP. Hey, you should be. I'm about to do something special with the family name. No? Level it up. You talk real big for somebody who just was crying as they dropped their uh, Ninja Turtle in the toilet. Pop, that was like 12 years ago. I'm a, I'm a grown man now. You can't even rent a car. <laughs> That's why I got you. Uh-huh, and you're lucky that you do. Hey, I appreciate it, Pop. You're here to keep me on track. Uh-huh, and you know what the goal is. Greatness. That's right.
Oh, uh, speaking of, you know who this guy is. Yeah, what about him? Just updated his all-time GOAT list. Says that you have a chance to make it to the top someday. For real? Mm -hmm. Take a look. So with all this talk about MP being the best prospect since LeBron James and Victor Webanyama being a generational talent, it got me thinking about my all-time GOAT list. Now, if you are new to the pod, you might not know that I have a passion for ranking the legends. I've spent a massive amount of time researching their careers, and I've placed them into five tiers of greatness. You can find that list on my website, by the way. Now, I love working on my GOAT list, but these guys are so legendary that they tend to stay in the same spot year after year. So I decided to add a new tier called the Got Next tier. This tier contains some of the younger guys in the league who aren't quite GOATs yet, but who, if they continue on their current trajectories, will almost certainly be in that discussion when their careers are over. Now, you may be wondering who's in the got next here, so let's get to it. These are in order, by the way. Luka, Embiid, Tatum, Zion, Webinyama, and of course, MP. Now, a lot of you might be like, you know, I put MP behind Webinyama, but they're basically tied if, you know, as I see it. And if MP distinguishes himself early on, I'll be happy to swap him with Vic. So, let me know. What do you think? Is there anyone who should be on the Got Next tier but isn't? Is there anyone who is there but shouldn't be? Hit me up on social. We'll talk about it. These are the kind of people you want on your side if they're going to call you the ghost someday. Oh, come on, Pop. Media doesn't matter. It's all about winning games. Ah, you're wrong. You need to understand how these people see you. I wish I would've played the game when I was your age. It's like, all due respect, Pop, I'm not like you. I'm not gonna make the same mistakes you did. I spent the best years of my career in losing situations because winning organizations didn't see me as someone who had their head screwed on top. Because you didn't, though. Not at first, okay? But when I was with Dallas, they gave me a shot. Could've been sooner if I had played the game. <sighs> all right. Son, you're trying to do something that nobody's ever done before. And when you do it, believe me, you will do it. There's gonna be no question who the goal is. 